tater time for tonight's games. What do you got? Uh, it is tater time, Scotty, on a Tuesday night, which we always love, uh, Tater Tuesday here on Coast to Coast. And, yeah, I'm a little upset uh, of how things went last night. It was not the best night for home runs. There wasn't a lot of long balls, uh, especially from the guys that we were after. So what do we do tonight? We go back to the bell cows. Let's go. We'll start in Atlanta where, yes, the Phillies are coming into town. I think the Phillies are going to win tonight, Scotty. But Matt Olson, pretty good against Zach Wheeler. Seven for 26 and two homers off of Wheeler in his career. Wheeler's allowed 18 home runs so far this year. Olson's got four home runs in the month of August. Can we put one in the chop house tonight for Matt Olson at a good price, too, plus 475? Dinner for two in the chop house. Matt Olson going deep to right. Certainly is. Uh, we went to Kansas City last night, Scotty, as we were going after Fulmer and we were back at Bobby Witt. We're going to go back to Kansas City again, especially with Tyler Anderson on the mound, the lefty. But we're going to go to Salvi this time. Why? Because Salvi always comes through for us when we need him. He's 5 for 17 with a homer off of Anderson in his career. Anderson's allowed 19 homers so far this year, plus four hundy for Salvi Perez tonight. Salvi time against the lowly angels at the K going deep to the fountain. Uh, let's hope so. Uh, put one right out there. Boom. Uh, first inning. That would be even great. Uh, next, down to Houston. Astros red hot uh, with the Sox in town. And I always get excited when I see that Nick Pavetta uh, is on the card. Why? Because Pavetta stinks. He's allowed 21 homers in 100 innings uh, so far this year. That is not a good ratio. Jordan Alvarez has three homers against the Red Sox this year. He's got five homers in the month of August. Plus 285. We usually like a lot more than that, but like I said, it's a bell cow night. We're going with Jordan. He always comes through for you and made us a ton of money, and they're going to sweep this series while they're at it. They're just getting they started. I love it. They certainly are. Uh, next, the Cardinals and the Brewers. We got some good history with Reese Hoskins here tonight, pitching uh, going against Fetty. Nine for 29, three homers in his career fetty has allowed two or more homers in three of his last six starts hoskins has been pretty good lately plus four bills for him tonight at bush Jimmy hoskins and a little willie adamas yeah we like willie willie's number is good too i think you saw him around 475 uh for tonight as well so fetty gives up the long ball uh we can absolutely get involved there next we go to los angeles where usually it's the dodgers we're back in right scotty otani Buki Betts, Teoscar, Freeman. Those guys are probably maybe home or night, but like you said, Miller's been very good. We're going to go on the other side because Walker Bueller has been awful. Uh, he's allowed 11 homers in 40 innings this year. Came back in his last start. Wasn't any good either. Uh, uh, Cal Raleigh plus 60 tonight. How about 20 of his 27 home runs this year, Scotty, on the road? Dude loves getting out of Seattle Going to be in there tonight at Chavez Ravine. We'll go with Cal against Walker Bueller. Can we get a Cal Raleigh sighting and a long ball? And can we get a Miller win at plus 130 in the perfect night at the Ravine? That would be great. Uh, if Cal could contribute to that, uh, that's what we like to say. Uh, everybody eats. Uh, if Cal Raleigh could do that yes, and sir. Miller could pitch well, everybody can eat. And finally, uh, for us on a Bell Cow Tuesday, this guy, you talk about Bell Cows on Tuesdays. Josh Naylor, 10 homers on Tuesdays this year uh, throughout the major league season. He always comes through. You're getting him at Yankee Stadium, short porch against Louis Heal. Of course, on the left side, hit it right down that right field line, plus 430 for Josh Naylor tonight in the Bronx. Yeah, and you know, like, I love that Naylor, what he does on Tuesdays. And J-Ram loves hitting home runs yeah. into the short porch and ride at Yankee Stadium. So I'll go with both of them. I think the uh, Guardians will give the Yankees problems in this series. I do, too. So there you go uh, for tonight. We are going to go with Salvi, Jordan, Olsen, Hoskins, Cal Raleigh, Josh Naylor. I told you there's other pitchers out there if you want to target them. Rockies and Nats, Gomber and Hurds, both guys stink. You got Berrios on the Blue Jays, Kramer and Quintana and the Orioles and the Mets. Lots of guys who give up lots of long balls uh, out there for us to go after. Let's get it. 